Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going once again? I am Nev from Nev's Tech Bits, and today we're going to have a quick look at and tear down of this Challenger chess unit. Now this thing comes from way back in the 70s, way before I was uh, even a glint in my father's eye. Um, I would think this is one of the first commercially available computer-operated chess games that would just tell you where you're going to move things to. And, uh, yeah, I picked this up for three bucks. It has most of the pieces. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. So, you know what? For three bucks, I ain't returning that. Actually, I got this out of Salvation Army. I never return electronics to the Salvation Army because, uh, your money's always going to something good. And if you don't need, like, three bucks, come on. Come on, really? If it did work, I would have eBayed it after exploring it. So, interestingly enough, no screws, all clips. All clips, and these two clips are busted. So, I'm going to get those all off there. They're all magnetic, by the way. Magnetic bottoms. When you unclip it, this is what you end up with. Interesting, interestingly enough, nothing seems to be... Actually, just in case anyone wants to see that motherboard. Nothing seems to be screwed in here. The big issue with this unit is that the power supply uh, had fallen off. It looks like someone tried to resolder it, and uh, they basically bridged two of the connections, so that's not going to work right there. Interestingly enough, as I was saying, they didn't screw this in. It's pretty much just in there by pegs. And that's what we got. You can see where... Get a bit of a, a rookie mistake soldering right up there. Or your solder gun probably fell on there, which is something that's happened to me. It definitely looks like someone had a bit of a rookie time there. But hey, it was worth it. Why wouldn't they just throw it out? Because this thing came from the th 70s, and this thing was probably about, geez, 100 bucks in their money. I see these buttons in really cheap alarm clocks, and they tape them down. That's got to be standard packing tape, I'm thinking. But geez, it works. It looks cheap. But it really works. One of the seriously fascinating things about the fact this is from the 70s is that all of this would have been hand-soldered. We would have had somebody in here from China hand-soldering each and every one of those points by hand. You gotta respect, you gotta respect them for that. Interesting that we have a daughter board here. Uh, I wonder if I can take that off. Field T Electron. Okay, I'm gonna get a good picture of this stuff. For anybody interested. Please ignore the background bumps. Got a toddler upstairs. Now, since this thing is so mangled, I don't mind taking off the daughter boards to see what's underneath them. I'll do that off camera because it kind of upsets some... Oh, there we go. I can just do that. It really upsets some people. Get a look at that bottom chip. El Salvador. CPU. All right, I'll be right back, folks. All right, I managed to get that daughter board off there. Interesting, only one... Only one uh, cable's going to that board. It looks like. Oh, only one cable. They only ran one cable to the board. I almost wonder if they they realized that they, they needed something. They screwed up on one cable. Because of that, they had to put it on a daughter board. Why would they do that? Seems like a huge expense. Probably a huge last minute expense. But yeah, that's what we got. There's my daughter in the background. Playing with all my boxes. Oh yeah? Uh-huh. But yeah, that's what we got. Honestly, I wanted to sell this on uh, on eBay, but since it was so uh, used up, so far gone, I thought, you know what, maybe let's do a teardown video on this thing. 
Love this old tech. Gotta respect the fact that uh, someone hand soldered each and every one of these. Definitely worth the three bucks. Anyways, that's it for me. I'm Nev from Nev's Tech. That's like, subscribe if you like this stuff. Or if you just want to support a bro who's trying to support a stay-at-home mom. That's the name of the game that we got over here. Um, yeah, just take care of each other. Have a good one, folks. Catch you later.